Hi guys and welcome back to Frame Nature. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as giving the video a like and following me on Instagram at let's underscore frame underscore nature. Today's video I'm giving you an update on all my terrariums. The first one here is the isopod terrarium. And as you can see it's looking great. A few days ago I even noticed some mushrooms growing in it, which I managed to get some footage of but they only seem to stick around for a few days as they've all dried up now. But nevertheless, it was still interesting to see them appear. The isopods are still doing great as well. Fortunately, I've not seen any crawling around inside the house, so I think they've all managed to stay inside the terrarium and not escape. I've been feeding the isopods a diet of dried fish flakes, as I read online that was a suitable diet for them, and they seem to be doing great. Now as you can see here, a weed has somehow grown out of the soil. I didn't plant this plant, this plant has made its way there itself. And it's growing really strong. Its roots are looking really big as well. So I think it's really cool how, despite me not planting it, it's just grown there by itself and it's actually doing really well. But unfortunately, what has happened is that it's overtaken the rosemary and it's outcompeted the rosemary for light, it's outcompeted the rosemary for water, and unfortunately the rosemary plants have died. Which is a shame, but I don't think it matters too much because this new plant which has appeared probably looks even better than the rosemary ever would have. So I'm not complaining, I think it looks fine. And I'm just gonna leave it to be exactly how it is because I think it looks great. And the ivy as well has grown massive, uh, it, it's grown up the glass a few times and I've had to trim it down because it's just out of control. But overall the aesthetic of the terrarium I think still looks great. Unfortunately the moss isn't as green as it once was, but hopefully now it's spring and summer it will regain some of that colour and maybe come back to life a little bit. I also thought I'd do a quick update on the mini terrariums. Now as you can see one of them, the one on the left, is looking great. It's managed to survive and it's growing in really nicely. Whereas the one on the right, it looks like a chemical war zone. I wasn't too sure why one of them worked and the other one didn't. So I wanted to do a bit of investigating to understand what had happened. So I opened it up and had a quick look inside and my first reaction was, wow, why is it so dry? There doesn't seem to be any moisture in here at all. There has been a tiny little bit of moss in the corner there which has survived, but apart from that everything else has died and I'm assuming it's through lack of water. So the only thing to do with that terrarium was to clean it out and use it for another project. But the other one, that's looking really good, I open that up and yeah inside it looks very moist, it looks like it's flourishing and uh, can't really complain with that at all, it's, look, it's looking great so I'm going to keep it going and see how long it can survive for. But despite it looking really good I still thought while the lid's open it might be a good opportunity to do a little bit of maintenance, so I cleaned off the glass and moved a few things around which had fallen out of place. A quick tip for you all when making your own projects is to make the substrate at the front lower than the back. This makes the terrarium or the fish tank or the ecosphere or whatever you're making look bigger than it actually is. So I did push down the soil at the front as it had started to climb with the moss. But that was it really, I didn't want to touch it too much, I want to just leave it and see what it grows into. So we've now got one isopod terrarium, which I might actually be deconstructing soon. I've got a project in mind which I might be doing soon, and it involves using that fish tank, so I might be deconstructing it soon. But for now, we've got one isopod terrarium, one mini terrarium, and one empty mini terrarium. Oh, 
I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you haven't already noticed, I do comment shoutouts in every one of my videos now. So if I like your comment, you might get a chance to be in the next video. But like I said earlier, make sure you subscribe and like the video. And if you have Instagram, follow me at Let's Frame Nature. Cheers guys, I'll see you next time.